So today we're going to go ahead and show you how to use the goat tuner to reflash your Articat. Uh, this one's equipped with the uh, solid legend kit. So let's get started. You got your tuner and your actual harness and this piece will plug into the snowmobile. And then we'll also have our power harness and an external battery in order to power it up. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug our harness into our device. You'll notice these little pins just need to match up with the pins on the device here. And then just screw it in. And so now we're ready to go ahead and plug into the sled itself. You'll see this data port is usually just tucked somewhere up in here. And there's just a cap over it. It's actually not plugged into anything else. So you just got to remove this cap. And then plug in your Ibex harness. Make sure it's secure and we're ready to go on to the next step. So now we just need to supply power to the device and the ECU of the machine. So in your package you'll have these uh, alligator clips and your external battery. Just go ahead and hook these up. And then the harness will always plug into the Ibex harness. There is a spot on the machine that it'll connect. Just make sure you never hook that up. It's always just going to go to the harness. You'll see now we have our device powered up. It'll come up to this screen to ask you to connect Wi-Fi. You do need Wi-Fi for the first initial download in order to license the machine as well as download the, the uh, tune files from the cloud. So after you connect Wi-Fi, you'll notice the Wi-Fi symbol up here is green. If at any time that shows red, obviously you're not connected to any internet. If it's yellow, that means you're connected to Wi-Fi but with no internet access. So you may be too far away from the router or there's too much interference from other uh, devices that are Wi-Fi capable. Try moving closer to the router or eliminate some of those other interferences. Um, at this point, we're ready to go ahead and license the sled and install your tuning. To do that, you will just go to download and then select whichever machine yours is. So CTEC 800. Okay, so after you select your machine, you'll come up to the licensing page. Um, this one's already been licensed, so it will look a little bit different on yours. Um, for the first time download, you'll see the license. Just click on the license, and then it'll populate the uh, part number, serial number, and then license. After you use it, it will say license unavailable. Uh, you're ready to just hit continue. And while you're connected to Wi-Fi, it will always check for any latest tune updates or tune revisions out there. Um, this is just for the first initial install after you have licensed the sled and downloaded the tune files from the cloud. You're able to download on the mountain without Wi-Fi or internet access. So right there, you just noticed that there was a new tune available. So it went ahead and downloaded the latest from us over the cloud. And then you'll come up to your tune selection. Now these will be named different depending on the machine you're running. Um, in this case, we're gonna be going to use our custom tune. It'll ask you to verify it. As long as that's correct, hit yes. Okay, so now it says flashing complete. Just hit the exit and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and just power the device off. Um, say if you're out on the actual mountain and you're wanting to do some data logging, you would just go to the monitor. 
select your machine, and then you come up to this page. Um, in order to start data logging, you just have to hit start. It'll come up here and connect to the machine. Go ahead and you know make your run, make your pass, so you get your data log. Before you actually shut the machine off, you just need to remember to exit the data log, and then it's ready to go be uploaded to the cloud. So while you're out on the mountain and you're looking to actually go ahead and data log, you will no longer need the external battery. Um, at this point, when the machine's running, the sled will actually power the device on. The only time you'll need a battery is if you're actually flashing the machine. Obviously, when you're going to flash the machine, the engine can't be running. So you have to have engine off, external battery hooked up in order to flash, uh, order, in order to data log. You just have to have the machine running and your harness connected.